You've probably already seen our first episode, 50 Insane Facts About North Korea. Did you think we were done? Not even remotely. This is, after all, the number one mass producer of crazy in the world we're talking about. There's always something new and most likely insane to learn about the Hermit Kingdom. And with Dear Leader Kim and President Twitterfingers potentially at each other's throats again, we might as well learn as much as we can about North Korea before the nukes get us all. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Infographics Show. Today we're taking a look at 50 even more insane facts about North Korea. 50. North Korea is the world's only necrocracy, a nation that is still governed by the rules of a former leader, now dead leader. Not to be confused with necromancy. That's when you bring dead dinosaurs back to life with science to open up a theme park for children. 49. North Korea has conducted five nuclear tests since 2006, despite Western intelligence agencies doubting they would be able to achieve a nuclear breakthrough for another decade. 48. Their last test in 2017 was of a device thought to be 100 kilotons and collapsed the mountain under which it was tested. 47. North Korea's nuclear tests have caused fear of radiation leaks being carried by the wind to Chinese border cities and towns, which lie as close as just 60 miles from the North Korea test site. 46. Further underground tests are feared to cause a volcanic eruption at Mount Paektu, which could be devastating for the North Korean and Chinese countryside. 45. The largest stadium in the world is in Pyongyang. The Rungrado 1st of May Stadium occupies an area of 51 acres and can seat 114,000 people, though has held as many as 150,000 in the past. It's also known as the May Day Stadium. 44. In the late 1990s, several North Korean generals implicated in a plot to assassinate Kim Jong-il were executed in the stadium by burning to death. 43. In 1995, the Japanese New Japan Pro Wrestling and American World Championship Wrestling Leagues held the Collision in Korea pay-per-view event in the May Day Stadium, though its official title was the Pyongyang International Sports and Culture Festival for Peace. 42. When not executing traitorous generals or hosting beefcakes fighting each other in their underwear, the May Day Stadium is best known for the annual Arirang Festival, or as it's known in North Korea, the Grand Mass Gymnastics and Artistic Performance Arirang, because North Korea loves being extremely specific about everything. 41. Taking place annually between 2002 and 2013, with the exception of 2006, the games were cancelled in 2014 but returned in 2018 under the name The Glorious Country. Not enough adjectives if you ask us. 40. North Koreans are handpicked to be part of the Arirang as young as 5 years old and expected to surf in this fashion until retirement age. 39. In August 2007, the Arirang Mass Games were recognized by Guinness World Records as the largest gymnastic display, with 100,090 gymnasts performing at once. 38. Besides not starving to death, other popular sports in North Korea include football, soccer for American viewers, basketball, speed skating, hockey, and of course gymnastics. North Korea even has a small domestic football league that plays all its games in the Kim Jong-il Stadium. 37. June 25th is the start of North Korea's struggle against U.S. imperialism month. We bet you can't guess what the central theme is. 36. North Korean propaganda routinely features fictional scenes from the Korean War of Americans committing atrocities. The Sinchon Museum of American War Atrocities commemorates the deaths of more than 35,000 people North Korea claims Americans slaughtered at the start of the Korean War. A completely fabricated event or fake news, it's unknown if the death toll of 35,000 is greater than the U.S.'s Bowling Green Massacre. 35. In 2014, Kim Jong-un described Americans as cannibals and homicides seeking pleasure in slaughter. 34. In 2017, U.S. President Trump took to the most hallowed of international diplomatic tools known as Twitter and called Kim Jong-un Little Rocket Man and alluded that he was short and fat. In response, Kim called President Trump a mentally deranged U.S. dotard on a televised broadcast. And that's how the world works now. 33. Despite this exchange of nuclear insults, Kim invited President Trump to a face-to-face -face meeting and removed a great deal of anti-American propaganda from their prominent displays all over Pyongyang. 32. After an initial bromance for the ages, things however seem to have cooled down considerably and Kim Jong-un is widely reported to be secretly resuming his nuclear program while lying about his intentions. Foreign policy experts around the world were in shock at the revelation that a murderous dictator who maintains his grip on power through fear and violence was not being honest about his intentions. 
31. A key feature of North Korean propaganda is the on-the-spot guidance, a tool meant to further the image of a caring, omniscient, and great leader offering benevolent guidance to ordinary workers and citizens. Typically, these take the form of highly choreographed visits to factories and farms around the nation and serve to further build a cult of personality built around the Kim family. 30. Every year, state-owned publishing houses release several cartoons called Giram Chake, which mostly feature scheming capitalists from the US or Japan, creating dilemmas for naive North Korean characters. 29. In 2004 and 2005, North Korea aired a television program entitled Let's Trim Our Hair in Accordance with the Socialist Lifestyle. The show featured acceptable and proper hairstyles and claimed that hair can affect human intelligence because it deprives the rest of the body of nutrients as it grows. 28. Another television program featured a hidden camera in Pyongyang, which would catch citizens with improper hairstyles. Those caught would be interviewed by the presenter and asked to explain themselves. Their name, address, and workplace would then be announced to deter others. 27. The North Korean village of Kijongdong is situated along the Korean DMZ, and North Korea claims it houses 200 families who work collective farms in the area. However, closer inspection with telescopic devices has shown that the brightly colored buildings are empty and don't have window glass or even an interior. 26. The village, also known as Propaganda Village, is meant to entice South Korean defectors. To date, only a few dozen have tried to defect to North Korea, while many thousands have fled to South Korea. 25. In 2013, six men and one woman defected to North Korea after one of them posted a series of pro-North Korean messages online, which were shared by the country's main newspaper. Thinking he would be welcome into the country, he and six others made the trek into the north. 24. Upon entering the country, all seven defectors were thrown into prison for up to 45 months. One man claimed he was kept in solitary confinement the entire time, and another of the men strangled his wife and then tried to kill himself in a suicide pact. North Korean officials claimed the woman died because of a quarrel with her husband. 23. After being returned to South Korea, the survivors faced up to 10 years imprisonment for their attempt to defect to the North. 22. North Korea maintains a secret network of informants that spy on their fellow citizens and report criminal or subversive behavior, such as listening to non-state radio or TV broadcasts, or watching foreign films. 21. North Korea's most popular tourist attraction is visiting Kim Jong-il's preserved body. 20. It is a widely known fact in North Korea that Kim Jong-un learned how to drive at the age of three and is a skilled composer and musician. 19. Kim Jong-il's birth was prophesized by a swallow and signaled by a double rainbow over Mount Paektu and the appearance of a new star in the sky. 18. Kim Jong-il started walking at three weeks old and began speaking at eight weeks. 17. While attending Kim Il-sung University, Kim Jong-il authored 1,500 books in three years and composed six full operas. The operas are naturally widely recognized as the greatest in the history of music, both past, present, and future. 16. Kim Jong-il also invented, completely on his own, a delicacy called gogigwiopang, which is described as double bread with meat. In the rest of the world, it's called a hamburger. 15. It's well documented that Kim Jong-il could control the weather with his mood, and that he had magical abilities that helped him control the weather. 14. Kim Jong-il holds the record for the best round in the history of the game of golf, having shot 38 under par, 25 shots better than the world record, and scoring 11 holes in one. 13. Imperialist capitalist psychologists around the world claim that Kim Jong-il actually suffered from the Big Six group of personality disorders, making him paranoid, antisocial, narcissistic, sadistic, schizoid, and schizotypal. It's believed Hitler, Hussein, and Stalin also suffered from these disorders. 12. Kim Jong-il was completely obsessed with his rice. He made female staff inspect each grain individually to ensure they had the right length, weight, and color, and insisted it only be cooked over a fire made with wood taken from trees that only grew on a particular Chinese mountain. 11. Recuperating from injuries after falling off his horse, Kim became so terrified of becoming addicted to painkillers that he forced others around him to take the same dosage he did so he wouldn't get hooked alone. 10. In 2016, North Korea claimed to have produced a miracle drug made of rare earth elements which could cure AIDS, most cancers, and destroy the Ebola virus. Unfortunately for us, North Korean scientists declined to share details about the ingredients or how to manufacture the drug. 9. 
For years, North Korean propaganda claimed that the dear leaders didn't poop. The poopless image of the current dear leader, Kim Jong-un, was shattered, however, when it was revealed that he had a mobile toilet built into one of the vehicles of his personal convoy for when he traveled around the country. 8. Any other North Korean official found using the dear toilet would face severe punishment, to include death. 7. In 2012, the Korean Central News Agency informed the world that North Korean researchers from the Academy of Social Sciences had discovered a unicorn lair. The lair must not have been particularly difficult to spot, as it was only 200 meters away from a temple and featured a rectangular rock with the words unicorn lair written on it. 6. Just days before the unicorn story hit the international news, China's Communist Party newspaper ran a story hailing a report by The Onion naming Kim Jong-un as the sexiest man alive, not realizing it was satire. This is really why you need a free and independent press, guys. 5. North Korea claims it has no citizens with disabilities, but defectors claim that officials kill babies with disabilities and that men with dwarfism are castrated and forced to live in an isolated village. 4. When Kim Jong-il passed away, the Korean Central News Agency reported that ice formed over a holy lake cracked, lights lit up the top of a sacred mountain, and snowstorms hit parts of the country at the moment he died. They also reported that flocks of magpies grieved in front of a statue of Kim Jong-il and his father Kim Il-sung. 3. In 2016, North Korea invented a new type of beer that wouldn't lead to hangovers despite an alcohol content of 40%. Sadly for the frat bros around the world, North Korea to date hasn't shared the recipe with the world or given any hint that it actually exists. 2. In 2010, articles in North Korea claimed that Kim Jong-il had set a global fashion trend with his modest gray suits, which, quote, leave a deep impression on people's minds in the world, unquote. 1. A total of four U.S. soldiers defected to North Korea during or after the Korean War, the most famous of which was James Joseph Dresnok. He became a national celebrity, portraying American villages in various anti-American feature films and television shows. He died in November 2016 of a stroke and told his sons to remain loyal to Kim Jong-un and that they would destroy the U.S. if it launched an attack against North Korea. What other insane facts about North Korea have you heard of? Did North Korea really discover unicorns, or is the capitalist imperialist New World Order simply trying to diminish North Korea's glorious scientific advancements? Also, be sure to check out our other show, A Day in the Life of Kim Jong-un. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time!